Cool. All right, Diddy. You on yeah, this, let's, you go, on, let's go over to keep it on Friday. We're going to go BYU. Oh, um, I'm on this game too there, buddy. Let's see what you cook. Yeah. yeah. Got something. Let's get it. Let me get to my game really quickly. The only scary part about this game, when I looked at it and doing some research earlier this week, the line has moved out of my favor. Um, mm. but, uh, but I actually like it that way because I'm on BYU here. And okay. when, I, when I scouted and it was doing my handicap, BYU is at minus one and a half. Um, and okay. now I'm seeing them to a plus two. So I'm not sure. I'm Ooh. still trying to do research on any type of injuries. Um, it is a big jump. But I didn't see anything when I was doing my research this morning of any major things that would have changed that number from opening at minus three to now almost to a plus two on the BYU side. But I'm going to give it to you this way. I don't mind it because I, I was going to go money line BYU, but now I can get money line BYU on a on a on a plus side. I just like mm-hmm. BYU at home. Uh, BYU is a very tough place to play defensively. Um, they are stout when they need to be, um, especially when that fan base. I'm not sure you've ever seen some BYU games. It gets really loud in there. All that blue and white be in the stands, and the way the stands sit, they sit on top of you. Um, so it should be echoing really loud in there for Cincinnati. Cincinnati hasn't looked good to me offensively. They may be able to put some numbers up in between the 20s and the the 20, but they're not able to put the ball into the end zone besides that first week when they put up 66 against, I think, uh, Eastern Kentucky team or something like that early on in the year. Besides that, they've been tough sledding offensively. So I don't like that. I think BYU's quarterback, Keaton Slavis, has eight touchdowns over 1,000 yards passing, so I think he'll be able to move the ball against Cincinnati. Um, Do I think Cincinnati's defense is pretty tight? I do. They held – Oklahoma up only to 20 points. But I think here in this case, I think BYU, it will be a close game, maybe 17-14, but that's the way BYU likes to fight. They play those ugly, ugly dog fights. And I think BYU at home will have the advantage here. Um, So for me, um, a team that likes to rely on their run game um, should be able to control this game, control this tempo. So I like BYU on a money line since now the line has shifted to the plus two. Give me BYU money line for plus money here, and I'll take a unit on that, which would be, like you say, $100 bet for me. Yeah, and that's even money, so I like that play. I actually do have, um, for my best bet, first I like to take, um, I think it's a little bit interesting. Cincinnati can run the ball. Um, I think they're top 25, I think, in, in rushing, but BYU can throw the ball. So it's still going to be interesting um, on how they attack each other's defenses. Um, but really, my my issue is uh, with this. Oklahoma really found the the uh, the way how to beat you know Cincinnati outside of Oklahoma just being a, a good team OU. But you stop the run, you stop them pretty much for Cincinnati. And um, BYU can you stop know, the run. They're they're top yeah. top fifty in the run at thirty eight, ranked thirtieth against rushing, um, yeah. only allowing one hundred thirty yards per game, a sixty seventh. So it's they're right there in the middle of a pack that can that can cause Cincinnati some damage. Yeah, and um, and and actually, uh, I lo- I tried to find a number because I really like this game, and I and I wanted a uh, a piece of this game to kind of figure out on how to bet this one. So I got a little gem here for you, and let me know if you like this one. I'm going first half. So f- for my um next best bet on Cincinnati versus uh BYU right now, BYU is plus. I'm sorry, Cincinnati's favorite minus one and a half. Um, totals forty eight and a half. Um, Diddy just gave his best bet of BYU money line. But for myself, I like the half and I like over this 23 and a half. I went back and looked at both games, um, all games here for both Cincinnati and BYU. Like you said, a little bit skewed Eastern Kentucky. They beat them up 66, 13, but Hey, they hung 27 on pit and hung um, well, they got close to um, 30. They hung 24 on Miami. And obviously they ran into uh, OU and a juggernaut, but out of those uh, four games, both, uh, all three games against the spread hit this over 24 number. And then it's the same on the other side with BYU. When I went back and, and looked at uh, BYU schedule, bring that up real quick here. Um, I saw they put up numbers uh, just as well easily. Um, obviously the same Houston game was nothing but S- Southern Utah, Arkansas, Candace. Arkansas and Candace to me, two good teams have another uh Similar quarterback, obviously their their pedigree is better in Jefferson and Daniels, 
but you get another kind of dual threat type quarterback and uh, Amari here in Cincinnati, which were, you know, those offenses were able to put points up on this BYU team. So um, obviously the pedigree of Cincinnati is not as high as Arkansas and Kansas with some of those players. But I believe that uh, Cincinnati is going to be able to score the ball in this game. Um, if you look back at the last two games, they've gave up almost 40 points in both games. So I think Cincinnati is going to be able to uh, put up some points here. And again, the number against the spread on this number on half, 23 and a half. Uh, BYU is uh, 3-0 and uh, with this uh, straight up against this number and 3-1 and in the last four games. So to me, um, I think there's going to be scoring in this game. Both teams put together are six and two against this number. I'm playing the number game here. Um, not so much uh, the matchup of teams, but believing that both these teams will be able to score in their respective strengths. Give me over 23 and a half. Um, I believe both teams will score in, in, in each quarter. Give me a touchdown for each team in each quarter. I, I, I could see that. Or even 17-7, even I get this. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know, not the typical 20, you know, 14, 14, but, you know, 14, 10. I'm still there. Multiple ways to get this number. I love it right there under that hook. I think uh, the books dropped the bad line here. I really like this number at 23, uh, three, 23 and a half. I think I clear this pretty easily. Yeah, I was looking at that. Like, I mean, like you said, your, your capping is, is right on point. 